וכהן, את דבר תורה ופרשת אמור. This week I'm starting from a very unusual place. Usually, when I sit down to write my weekly thought, I have a question to guide the discussion. The contemplation begins with a search for answers and a hope that by the end I'll arrive at a satisfactory conclusion, or at least a reasonable one. This time is different. This time I'm not even sure what my question is supposed to be. Therefore, today, we will try to collect data and formulate a question. If we reach the answering stage, it will be much more than I hoped for. Sefer Vaikra is Torat Kohanim. I hope this catch is no one by surprise. We are nearing the end of the book, after all. Why am I mentioning this banal fact? Because the section of the festivals in Parashat Emor, our parasha, doesn't function as festivals in Torat Kohanim should function. What do I mean? Despite the important place the offerings have in the festivals, and by implication, the Kohanim, the Musaf offerings are detailed in Parashat Pinchas and Sefer Bamidbar, a book that is not the Torah Kohanim. In our parasha, some offerings exist, and there's even a bombastic conclusion sentence. These are the appointed seasons of Hashem to offer an offering made by fire to Hashem, or burnt offerings, or and meal offerings as sacrifice. Uh, the main body of offerings, however, the Musafim, is missing. So, what's my problem? I seem to have found a great question, haven't I? Yes, but that's not the question that interests me. It's just the introduction to it, or at least part of the introduction to it. Another point, one that's shared in both festival parashiot, is that despite the role the Kohanim play in offering any offering, There's a word that stands out in its absence. The word is the Kohen. The Kohanim don't offer the offerings. You do. In both parashiot, Hashem commands Moshe to tell Bnei Yisrael to offer Hashem's offering. The most common conjunction of the offering is Vehikraftem, and you shall offer, meaning it comes from the public, not the Kohanim. Although this too could have been a good question, it is again not my question. We are, however, getting closer. Despite the very similar topics and content, the parashot are not identical. Well-known differences between the two are the dual roles of Sukkot in Parashat Emor and the omission of the commandment of the four species in Parashat Pinchas. I, however, believe that the most prominent difference is the inclusion of all the laws related to the days of the Omer in Parashat Emor and the disappearance of any mention of them in Parashat Pinchas. Is this the question troubling my peace of mind? Still not, but it's getting close. It's time to think about it. A, I lied. I said there are no Kohanim in the Parshiot, but that's inaccurate. They appear only in the context of the Omer commandments, four times. To understand their placement, it's worth knowing a bit more about the structure of the sections. The laws of the Omer are divided into two sections. The section of the Omer offering, opening the days of the Omer, where the Kohen is mentioned twice, and the section of the Shtei Alechem, closing them, where the Kohen is mentioned again twice. And now we have finally reached my question, which in a way is a kind of anti-question. Why does only the unique Omer section behave as expected from the Parashiot in Torah Kohanim? Why do Kohanim only show up in the Omer section of Parashat Emor in Torah Kohanim? After spending so much time trying to formulate the question, no answer I could give in a paragraph and a half can suffice. I will only note that a possible one may lie in the concluding verse of the Omer sections. The verse that repeats the laws of the gifts to the poor and is related to the harvest in Parashat Kedushim. Perhaps, and only perhaps, this is a reminder that although most of the Kohen's day takes place in the temple, he is called a Kohen in the laws that connect him to the different parts of the people. Those who bring the first fruit from the fields and, moreover, those who need their assistance. In loving memory of my beloved and heroic student Amichai Shimon Ben Yishai and Bat Yaru Bin Hashem Ikom Damo, I am Dovi Holtz, one who loves Tanakh.